All right, you guys, it's time to tour the Blue Water RV Resort located in Freeport, Texas. Now, the very first thing I want you guys to look at is exactly how close this place is to the beach. You can see it's just a very quick walk across that little street and you are right there. Just also keep in mind that in this area, you are allowed to take your golf cart or your vehicle right onto the beach to make that commute even easier. So I'm just starting off by these little screen grabs from their website. I just wanted to pull up the map and show you guys exactly the layout. Now we pull in at the front, but where that little arrow was is where we're actually going to begin the tour. And you'll notice the layout of this park is extremely long and narrow. And that's because it used to be a landing strip for John Wayne, which is such a cool fun fact. I love those fun facts. I'm a sucker for them. Now, before I actually start that drive around tour that I normally do, I wanted to go through these rates because rates are very important to us RVers and sometimes they can make or break it for us. Now we stayed where that arrow is on the wetland site and they did have a monthly option. I will be showing you guys that in a moment. Now I believe it's $750 and then you pay electric on top of that. And as I scroll through these different rates for the Blue Water RV Resort, just a quick reminder, always give the park a call to make sure you're getting the most updated and current rates and make sure they don't have any deals going on because a lot of times parks have some deals which are always a bonus. Now these canal sites with the semi-private pier which are right across from the wetland site, all the wetland sites, um, these were so popular with people who loved fishing. You can leave your boat right there at your semi-private dock. You can go fishing every morning, set up your chair, go crabbing. It's beautiful. If you love to fish, if you love to crab, get one of those sites because it just makes your experience that much better. Now, if you don't stay at one with a semi-private pier, they do have a dock at the end. They have a boat slip, so no worries. But just if you want that little bit of extra fishing fun, definitely one of those canal sites for sure. Now we're just scrolling through the rates. Like I said, they're going to vary between winter, between summer. So if you are booking, especially for a 30 day stay, as you can see circled there, they do have a rate, but it does say contact us. So I will have everything linked below because you want to make sure that there are no hiccups in your booking, especially if you're booking for a long-term stay, you need that to go smoothly. So yeah, here are the rates and we are just going through all of these. I really can't think of a site that I wouldn't book. I really thought all of them were beautiful. All right, so we have driven all the way to the back of the RV park and there is the Discovery Trail right in front of us here. And in this kind of roundabout area that I'm standing in, this is where our extra trailer parking is. And actually when you pull into the park, because it is so narrow, we actually came to this little roundabout area and pulled around completely in a circle and then went back forward so we could back into our site, which was A60. And I would say 99% of people who checked in did the same thing. They pulled all the way down to where we are in this roundabout, did a nice little circle, and that way they were able to easily back into their site. Now I did a quick pop in just there and th that was a uh, Graham and Ollie, they caught some crab. Crabs are hopping on this pier, let me tell you. And the sites right here, there's this. They're pretty similar, pretty, um, pretty similar. Some of them you'll notice have tiki huts and grills, a little extra space, et cetera. They all vary, but you saw that rate kind of changes dependent upon which site you choose. And there were some videos of the boys and Anthony in the pool. And here is an overview from the bathhouse area. It's just beautiful. I, I just, I'm a sucker for a good view. All right, and you can see again, I mean, it's just beautiful. The wetland, the canal site, can't really go wrong. Then you come in here and you have your laundry area. Something I used to love when we didn't have a washer and dryer on our, or in our RV. I love those long folding tables. So I love that. And I know a lot of people really enjoy that here as well. They do have standing desks and some games, TV, couches, kind of a multi-purpose game room. This was great when we wanted to take a break from the sun or, you know, just enjoy some family time on a rainy day. So we're continuing forward. 
and you can see where a golf cart or driving is probably necessary if you have little ones because it's a long haul but actually we enjoyed it we do not have a golf cart um, and we did not drive to the beach so we really enjoyed this walk now sometimes on days where the boys were tired we would take the truck or our rental car at the time um, and park right up here in that big parking lot and then just walk across to the beach and they do have a nice rinsing station um, for on your way back this is just a snippet of what the beach looks like. I know a lot of people who come to the Galveston or Surfside Freeport area and see the beach for the first time, they always like to know what to expect. And this is what the beach looks like for the most part around here. So we are always happy for some beach time. They had a pretty simple, but I would say, you know, any playground gets the job done. These kids are so happy. And this was a very well-kept one. They do have a basketball court as well. So the kids were just they were just always having fun let me tell you guys now they do have gated access which is something that is very important i like to feel safe and they do change those codes for both the bathhouse and for the main gate entry every single week and they will text that to you now up there straight ahead that is where you check in they do crafts in the event area in the back i believe thursday through sunday but that changes and they do post that schedule for you every week and the crafts are pretty incredible. They do some awesome stuff and it's all included in your stay, which is awesome. Now, if you don't have an RV and still want to try this place out, not an issue. They have those little beach cottages for rent. So you can come and enjoy this place just the same. They do have kayak rentals that you would do in the office and then pick up there. And they have, let's see, trash pickup at your site. And then they have a dumpster right there in case, you know, you, you miss the trash pickup time or whatever. So not a problem. There's that washing station right there. Yep. That was awesome. We rinsed off the, the wheels on our beach wagon, rinsed off the kids, and then we could go jump in the pool. It was pretty awesome. And here are just more beach sites. Some of these are back ends, which are to the right, or those beach pull throughs that are to the left of me right now. Now up ahead to the right, you see that that awesome dog park with a dog washing station. And in this area, since dogs are allowed to go onto the beach, it was awesome to be able to give him a nice bath with a view before bringing him home. All right, you guys, as always, I'll have all of the information you need to check out this place in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.